Technology innovation is critical to disrupt traditional manufacturing and create environmentally friendly materials for plastics making. We can develop uh, more and more products and solutions for the China market. So while you observe, uh, it's only a small portion. BASF is leading global advanced materials research and development. Will they transfer technology to the countries needed? We also want to have a design, product design capability here in Shanghai. Today we meet with Jeffrey Lowe, Global President of Advanced Materials and Head of R&D in BASF, and visit BASF's laboratory in Shanghai, exclusive on Greenfront, exclusive on CGTN. Europe is ahead of the curve in terms of developing solutions to address sustainable themes in the global chemical sector. While plastic is becoming the most important and interesting ESG story in the chemical sector, European companies are using their specialization, innovation and customer interaction to tackle these problems. BASF, the world's largest chemical company leveraging its strong R&D capabilities, has an almost dominant say in advanced materials. Over the years, they have been focusing on biodegradable materials R&D, and through scientific measurement with standard setting, they are able to present world-leading solution on degradable materials. Basically, you know, when you talk about biodegradability, we have to measure it. Right. So biodegradability is measured either by oxygen consumption right. or by CO2 production. Okay. So yes, let me show you one example here, how we measure it. You know, this, I mean, contains or simulating the aerobatic environment. Okay. So you measure the consumption of oxygen mm -hmm. and then to assess the biodegradability of our material. Right. Maybe Li Chen, you can first explain. Yeah. Okay. So biodegradable actually means a substance can be hydrolyzed and uh, metabolized eventually by microorganisms in different environments and converted themselves into CO2, water, and biomass. Okay. So here you see this is the uh, activated sludge from taken from wastewater treatment plant. It contains different microbes. So we take it as inocula right. and then prepare them here into the testing bottle. And in this test setup, we measure the oxygen uptake and converted them into biodegradability. Uh -huh. So that's how in our lab, we evaluate the biodegradation. So BSF, of course, we have again more than 10 years history in Europe working on biodegradable materials. Mm -hmm. So we established such methods and then we tra transferred the know-how to Shanghai. Right. So here we are more than happy to support the Chinese authorities mm -hmm. to establish a standard how to assess the biodegradability, right. because without this standard, it's difficult to discuss which material is biodegradable. It seems that we're doing all those very little things, all the things that we use in our daily life, mm -hmm. detergents, yeah. uh, consumer products. How will it actually really influence our life going forward? So circular economy is uh, you know, a very broad concept. You know, it covers uh, you know, reusing the resources, reducing the waste, and also designs the products you know, for the entire life cycle. Right. So why you observe the, it's only a small portion, you know, how we measure the biodegradability. Right. And our vision actually is to further build up such capabilities. Mm -hmm. We plan to build up uh, applications development based right. on biodegradable materials. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the long run, we also want to have a design, product design capability here in Shanghai, design some material to be sustainable, to be recyclable, or to be biodegradable. Right. So we will transfer more know-how, more capabilities from Europe to here in Shanghai. In developing countries, we sometimes want to achieve a lot of things in a relatively short period of time. Uh, do you think you, know, you can adapt to such kind of um, different way of doing things here in this market? I think BSF, you know, we're adapting to the market needs very, very well, as particularly here in China. So I think we are improving very much over the time. And uh, I'm confident, yes, we can develop uh, more and more products and solutions for the China market. Great.
How do we make scientific research results useful and benefit customers? How does a company to cooperate with local markets and share technology globally? Jeffrey Lowe gave out his answers.、Uh, how important is China market now nowadays to BASF? BASF is really investing heavily in China. You know, in 2018, we announced a big investment project in Guangdong Province. So this is 10 billion USD investment over the next 10 years. And then look at this innovation campus here in Shanghai. We also invest heavily our R&D resource. So our philosophy, our strategy, actually, we want to position our technical resources also close to market, close to customers, and jointly develop. The products and the solutions with our customers and meeting the local market requirements. Will you really transfer、uh, the technology to the local market, or you are just using local market? We have transferred a lot of technologies to Asia. So as I said, we still have a majority, you know, of the R and D resource, you know, sitting in Germany. But the technologies we are open to all the regional markets. You know the PBAT technology you talk about. Actually, we license the technology to a local company、uh, Red Avenue.、Right. So we partner with Red Avenue to produce to sell PBAT in the China market or in the regional market. How do you do your local partner selection? We share the same philosophy. You know we very much you know emphasize the importance not only the economic success. But also environmental protection and social responsibility. So if we share those philosophy, I think logically they will be all patterned. You know, BSF we have more than 150 years of history. You know, we rely on innovation. You know, to differentiate BSF from our competition.、Mm. So today, actually, we compete based on, of course, you know, on the upstream mainly the carbon footprint. So we develop a new process. You know, low emission technologies to produce chemicals. On downstream chemical、uh, products, we very much rely on innovation and sustainability to differentiate BSF from our competition. To adopt cutting-edge technology in real life is always a challenge. It needs scientific innovation, but only innovation itself is not enough. It has to be closely linked to customer needs. On the application front, how are Chinese business entities such as restaurants and consumers responding to these new technologies? We'll take you to visit Meituan in our next episode, one of the largest food delivery platforms globally, with millions of restaurants on its platform, to explore more.